You're watching Pulse, an alternative guide to how we express ourselves around the world. San Francisco, culinary cuisine, sightseeing mecca, culturally diverse landscape. May not necessarily be the fashion capital of the world like New York or even Los Angeles. Well, in the next few moments, I'm going to show you just how to define your personal style when in San Francisco. Here we are in Union Square, the obvious fashion choice. I'm going to show you the four shops to hit when time is an issue. Everything from budget-minded to high-end taste. AB Fits, the hottest denim today to keep you sexy in the city. Beware, the only way to get a pair of these studs is to be buzzed in by the staff. Hmm, let's see if they're not me in. Well, what we do is we concentrate more on the fits instead of just the styles, the bells, the whistles. We try to get a few different fits that'll fit each body that comes in. Oh, cool. Yeah. Ooh, do you buy different labels that other stores don't carry? We try to. Whenever it tends to get a little bit big or blows up and it goes to the department stores, we, we, we shy away from it a little bit and get into other things that maybe people haven't heard about. Emporio Armani, urban, sophisticated, housed in an old building that used to be a classic bank. Giorgio Armani's more urban, casual line, also the home to a really cool cafe bar that sits right in the center of the store as a sort of viewing platform for the surrounding fashion. Macy's Men's Store, housed in its own separate building, which carries brands other Macy's around the country wouldn't dare to carry. Think everything from urban to couture. This is not the department store to ignore. Well, we have a great men's store in San Francisco in particular, and um, I think it's, it's one of those things where, I was talking before, we have something for everyone. So we have designer fashion, so if you're looking for something that is a little more European in flavor, a little more forward, of course with that comes a little more um, expensive perhaps, um, we have that. And, um, I think if you're looking for something urban, we have that. I mean, we have all the urban collections. If you want something a little more traditional, we have polo. And being one of the directors and producers of the biggest show on the West Coast, Macy's Passport, which is also a very large AIDS benefit, um, each year, how do you decide on the fashions or the themes? Who dictates that? Do you look? Well, it's, it's a combination of things. First of all, we invite specific designers out and um, you know we'll feature their collections that's one way and then the other thing we do is look at the trends of the season and we will uh, pick some of the, the heat trends for the season and we will um, do uh, a segment based on that particular trend so. H&M today's fashion that looks strikingly similar to what you'd find on today's runways at unbelievable prices may not be classics but price and style will make you a standout this season the gay, lesbian, and transgender mecca, also known as the famous Castro District, is home to some of the sexiest fashion in town. What's your take on San Francisco men's fashion right now in San Francisco? If you had to, uh, in a nutshell, describe it. Um, it's very casual, you know, it's just nice. I think it's, it's, it's going like towards like very nice denim. Okay. That's definitely, you see the tennis in like very fashion, high-end denim. Hayes Valley. This artsy neighborhood is home to some of the coolest cafes, design studios, and fashion boutiques. This is one of my favorite stores, Nomads. Let's take a look. How would you basically describe your store and what you carry? Looking for the dapper dudes. So we want to put that personality in your wardrobe, but not take themselves too seriously. So it's not so much the label that's on their shirt, it's whether it fits with your personality, whether, you know, it fits with the season. San Francisco men's fashion is available, cutting edge, and diverse, with San Francisco displaying some of the most leading trends you'll find today. It appears the next wave of designers are on the brink of an explosion that will not only push the boundaries, but set a new tone for emerging fashion for San Francisco men's style. For more information on the trends you've seen today, visit my website, ProgressivePulse.com. For now, I'm checking out. I'm Steve Rodriguez, and you are watching Pulse.